Here we have a Philips LCD television which has a bit of a dark spot on the screen. Since it shows the dark spot in every color, it might very well be the backlights. So let's see if we can access those. When disassembling devices, I like to make a rough sketch of the device and stick everything I remove to the drawing with tape and number the parts sequentially. In that way the order of reassembly is always clear and everything goes where it should be. So there will be no screwing in the wrong hole. Right. Before removing the boards, let's discharge the capacitors for safety. That's one way to do it. So when we have the back removed, we find that the bezel is held in place by many brackets, which we will remove. That did take a while, but it wasn't a difficult job. After removing all the brackets, the stand and the power connector, we are able to lift the screen from the bezel. It took a little bit of persuasion because sticky stuff was used to put it together. Glue. After removing a couple of screws from the side, top and bottom of the screen, we can remove the side brackets and reveal all the layers inside. We just lift those out careful not to damage them and making sure they stay in order so we can put them back exactly as they are supposed to be. After removing the layers inside the screen we have access to the LED strips. Let's take them out and test the LEDs. If you put your multimeter in diode mode, the meter will put a couple of volts on the probes which are enough to light them up. All of the LEDs light up fine on a malfunctioning strip, but that may be because of the voltage. Maybe if the screen is not on full brightness, we get different results. Putting the LED strip under the microscope reveals the tracks on the PCB that turn out to be connected as in this drawing. Since the LEDs are connected in series, we are able to test 13 LEDs in a row. My bench power supply does not provide enough voltage to power 14 at a time, but 13 in series light up. One of the LEDs is slightly less bright than the others, and I'm quite sure that this is the one that caused the dark spot. I found the LED strips on AliExpress for a fair amount of currency, so I ordered them to replace the old strips. We could replace just the one failing LED, but then another one might fail and we have to take the whole thing apart again. So let's replace all of them. Replacing the LED strips is just a matter of screwing out the old ones and screwing in the new. And after installing them, the TV is shining bright again. Now let's put everything back together. After reassembly, the dark spot is gone, so we gave this TV a new lease of life. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and I hope you will join me in the next repair video. Bye then!